Hey everyone, welcome back to Rose's Year of One. If this is your first visit to my channel, then my Year of One is my low buy project that I'm undertaking in 2021 after doing a no buy year in 2020. As well as using my low buy to limit the number of things coming into my life, I am making a big effort this year to try and use things up and get them moved out of my collection. And part of that is my project pan. So, this is my second update. Uh, so I did my intro, which I filmed at the start of January. Update number one, um, which I'll link below if you haven't seen it, was filmed on February the 14th. And yeah, it's been a little while. Basically, the whole kind of rest of February and to be honest, most of March, I just didn't wear any makeup, so I didn't make any progress. Um, but things are starting to lift in terms of restrictions and things, so... I've been back into work and I've been wearing makeup a little bit more so there's some progress to show you. Still not not the world's best project panner. I feel like I say that in every project pan video that I ever film but some progress is better than no progress and there is some exciting progress to share with you so let's get on into it. <laughs> So I will start with the eyeshadows and I will start with my Morphe palette. So I absolutely love this palette and I haven't been able to link it in the intro and the last update but Morphe have re-released it. It's slightly different packaging. It's in more of a green packaging now. Um, so I will link it up down below but it is the same palette even though, my, like, even though the outer part looks slightly different. And this is the inside of my palette. So the shade that I am working on from this palette is this shade here, which is called C Note. I actually really like the shade. I use it quite a lot, but yeah, you can kind of, I feel like to my eye, you can see not quite, calling it a dip would be a bit ridiculous. It's um, the beginnings of a dip, you know, it's, it's not quite, it's not quite visible enough to say there's definitely a dip yet, but you can kind of see where my brush goes. Nothing visually very exciting to report back, but still really enjoying using this shadow. Really, really love this palette overall. I think it's brilliant. So, um, you know, happy to keep using it and hopefully we'll see a proper dip maybe by the next update, fingers crossed, and at some point hopefully a pan. I was watching somebody's video, I think it might have been Rebecca Morgan's, um, it was an older video, it wasn't one of her most recent videos, but she does that um, pan those eyeshadows, I'm sure it was her video where she said like her average use on an eyeshadow before she hits pan is like 14 times, so I don't know if I just don't actually use very much eyeshadow because I've definitely used this more than 14 times since January. We're not even close to seeing a proper dip, so I don't know if I just don't use as much makeup as I think that I use. Like, I I know I'm not like an, it, it, like, I know I don't use like super heavy makeup in terms of like, you know, contouring and highlighting and that sort of Instagram really sculpted look, um, but I, I do feel like I wear makeup, uh, but yeah. We have, we have not even a proper dip yet and definitely no pan. So that is the update for C Note. And then in terms of my other eyeshadow that's in the project is from the ABH Modern Renaissance palette and it is this shade here, Warm Taupe. Again, there is a dip happening. It's a bit more obvious in this one than it is in the other one. Um, it's not a proper dip again. It's like the beginnings of a dip. It's, uh, it's definitely not... It's not an exciting dip yet, but it's the beginnings of a dip, which I can definitely see, but I feel like the camera might not pick it up, so I'm really sorry if you can't see it, but there is the beginnings of a dip happening in Warm Taupe. And right as I've started to film this, somebody has started drilling it outside, so I'm really sorry if you can hear that. Um, it's been quiet all morning, and then as soon as I go to do this, that starts. God, give me strength. It's like my neighbour knows, like, it's, it's like he's linked to me and he knows as soon as I go to film and that's when he must start his noisy tasks. He's been working in this garden for about three years at this point. I don't know what the hell he's doing. Anyway, going on to the primer that is in my project. Um, so I weigh this rather than mark it. 
in the last update there was 22 grams obviously that includes the packaging on this and this update there are 19 grams three grams of product has been used i do feel like this is getting really really difficult to actually squeeze out so i think I might be finished this by the next update. I think I'm really close to having to cut it open because um, it's, it's getting to that point like I'm really having to squeeze it to get product. But then every so often loads of product starts coming out so I don't know what we'll be looking at once I cut it open. But I'm definitely on the verge of cutting it open certainly by the next update and we will see what happens with the product inside. Now I also have a new product that I am weighing that I was not weighing before because we've had a bit of an incident with this palette. I have two products from this palette. What is he actually doing? So I have two products from this palette in my project pan and the first one is Dim Light which I've not hit pan on it but it's definitely and again I don't really know if this will show on camera um, but it's definitely flattened out quite a lot so I think we might have a pan on this by the next update. So my goal is to finish it completely. We're not just aiming to hit pan, we are aiming to completely use it up. Um, but yeah, I think we might have a bit of a pan showing in this by the next update, so we will see. And then the other product from this palette is this pink blush, which looks significantly different to the last time that I showed you it. So it did crumble off. However, I was able to save it. So I have the crumbled off bit in this little tub here and I have weighed this. So this is seven grams of product. However, I am going to keep using what is in the palette because there is still product in the palette. Um, I'm going to keep using that and try and actually empty the pan first of all before I go on to the excess. This is visually what the pan is looking like at this update. So that's what I'm going to work on first and then we'll go on to the excess. So it's looking a bit different to the last one and I have been consistently using it but obviously it's kind of hard to judge how much I've used because of the way that it's broken off. But I had been consistently using it and I'm still enjoying it. Uh, so yeah, I'm hoping for a pan and dim light by the next time that we update and see how the blush changes as time goes on. To move on to my other blush that's in the project, I did have a little baby pan in that the last time and that has gotten slightly bigger so we've now got like two sort of baby pans. I had actually been concentrating a little bit more on the pink blush which is what makes it quite frustrating that it's changed because you can't really judge what I've used now because it's come out and we've split it out and things. Um, but yeah we've now got two little baby pans so I'm hoping by the next update we'll maybe have like one sort of big well established pan. Product round the side still has like the embossing and the pattern and stuff in it so I know it's definitely like the middle is being used but there's loads of product left so it's not like it's close to being done anytime soon or anything like that but it is very exciting to watch those pans start to appear and hopefully widen so this is the most sort of visually satisfying product in the project at this point so it, it's low-key my favourite product just because it's showing progress in a way that none of the others are. And speaking of no progress showing, this is my Benefit Dandelion Twinkle Highlighter, which I have been using, but you, you can't really tell. There is no dip, there is no pan, there is no nothing, but I have been using it very consistently. So, you know, hopefully at some point we will see something. I think it's just maybe maybe it was a bad choice because it's such a big um, kind of product that I sort of just sweep my brush around it whereas you know with the likes of like that blush because it's small you're going down the way whereas I think I sweep across the way and I've spoken about that I think in my last update as well in terms of the eyeshadows like I think I swirl my brush around rather than like chiseling down to get pan which is the thing is you're still it's all about using up the product so if you're using it in these sort of big swoopy layers then you'll get a big pan at some point or when you hit pan it's going to expand really quickly but it'll take you longer to get there whereas if you like chisel down you can have like a pan quicker but you'll have more product around the sides so it's it's you have to focus on I say this saying you I mean me I have to keep focused on it's about using up the product it's not just about getting the pan but seeing the pan is satisfying so 
I would like to see it in this at some point but yeah I think I'm just swirling my brush around the whole sort of space and it's quite a big space um, so I, I maybe should like pick a corner or something to, to concentrate on but that would also kind of feel like cheating all these like self-imposed rules around project planning so that is my dandelion twinkle unexciting update we'll do the other unexciting update I think just keep the two of them together which is my Tartus lip paint so you really can't see any visual change because it looks completely up around the sides I have been using it I feel like I can feel the formula getting a little bit drier and a little bit thinner so it's like starting to reach the end but then every so often it sort of just seems to come back to life so I have absolutely no idea because there is no visual progress whatsoever on this so I feel like this was a bad choice of item to put in a project pan. I, I kind of I thought we'd start seeing things at the side but that is just not happening so yeah we will continue on though because it is in the project and I want to finish it so we're going to keep using it and I'm still enjoying it I still like the colour and everything but it's just it's not a great one for measuring there's no visual progress to be measured so it's not very satisfying <laughs> what I do have visual progress on is my lipstick so this is my MAC Viva Glam Cindy and this is what this is currently looking like so it's so close to actually like like so this side is down at the the plastic rim and um, so I've got this amount of product and then it is kind of getting to that point though when I'm using it on my lips like the plastic is rubbing against my lip. We'll keep going for a little while to try and flatten it out maybe by the next update I'll try to flatten it out sort of completely um, and then I think I'm going to have to find a little tub or something to scoop out what's kind of below the, the holder bit. There's definitely a proper name for that but I can't think what it is right now so yeah I'm really pleased I think this is the most I have ever used of any lipstick ever I don't want to look up when the Max Cindy Lauper Viva Glam collaboration was because it was definitely long enough ago that this lipstick should definitely be in the bin um but it still seems to be performing absolutely fine and yeah I'm not gonna get rid of it when we're this close to the end like I want the satisfaction of using this up so and I do think that's going to happen within this project pan and um, so yeah by the next update I'm hoping to kind of completely flatten it out so that's the goal. Not a huge amount of progress but still a little bit of progress on my Sephora lip liner so I am quite enjoying using that and smudging it into my lips and then using my Estee Lauder lip gloss which is also in the project over the top of it so I'll show you the close-up of this like marked out to see how much I've used up. It's not hugely significant um, because I have been concentrating more on the lipstick and the liquid lipstick so this combo kind of gets used like once a week. It's not happening at the same rate. Still using it, still progress and steady progress will get us results in the end so still pleased, still brought it down and that's the goal. And then in terms of my lip gloss this is definitely this is another one that's hard to measure but it's definitely getting thinner around the sides you know whenever I move the, the stopper about like you know you can see it kind of thing you can really see it pushing at the sides this is definitely will be finished within the project I feel like I need to and when I have it in work I have it in my pen pot and it settles down a little bit and um, which is a bit more satisfying but yeah not quite at any point ready we're not like anywhere near taking the stopper out or anything like that but yeah it's definitely going getting to that point where I can like wipe the sides of it so you know we're not at a full product either hard to measure but we're using it and it will be done within the project speaking of being done within the project I have finished this lip gloss so this is a steel lip gloss in marmalade similar to the one that I had finished in the last update it doesn't look finished it looks like there's product there but you click it round nothing more is coming out so it's finished can't get any more out of it and I'm very pleased that that is done so I've only got one of the three steel lip glosses that I started the project with left and um, but it is the one that had the most in it so moving on to show you that one this is the shade kitten I really would like the lipstick to be flattened out by the next time so I feel like the lipstick is still going to be 
my focus lip product but if I haven't finished this one by the next update I'd like to have finished it by the update after so I will definitely be finished this within the project as well and I haven't really used this one much because I was trying to finish up the other two. We'll get this one out hopefully not next update but the update after and then it will just be a case of like completely focusing on the Estee Lauder lip gloss in terms of my project pans and that will hopefully by the end of the year be four lip glosses that I have used up completely and moved out of my collection thanks to my project pans. So even though my progress is slow and I'm not the most exciting project planner to follow it's moving things out of my collection that would not be moving out of my collection if I wasn't putting them into this project so I'm still very happy that I've decided to do this this year. Anyway those are all my items for this update so I hope you've enjoyed it. As I say I know it's not the most exciting but I hope you've enjoyed it nonetheless and thank you very much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!